Hey guys, Meek Displays here. And today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing my top 10 NECAs. Now this is not all the NECAs that have ever existed that they have ever made. Because that would be way too many. And also I don't own them. But this is just the top 10s that I own. This is also not objective. And there's no facts to back up any of these. This is just my opinion and my top 10. Sorry that my light box is so dirty. I had any time to clean it. So before we get into it, I'm going to do some honorable mentions. There's just two. There's the Rhino Alien. This thing is awesome. But it has it has a lot of trouble standing. And it, it is almost too big. Like it's really hard to pose because it's very massive. And I am a child. So that's pretty difficult. And then he has his little thing here, which never stays on, which is also a con. Anytime I put it on, it'll just fall right off. So you can even stand up. So he's really good, but overall, he doesn't quite make the list. Another honorable mention is from the Toys R Us 2 pack, which is the City Hunter. This figure is also very cool. And I don't necessarily have any reasons to not like this one, but just the other 10 I like better than this one. So it didn't quite make the cut, but it's really nice. Mine came broken because, you know, it's very old, but it has all that blood splatter and the removable arm, which is just awesome. And I like that they just went the extra step to give it the gas mask because he didn't have that for very long in the movie. But they still did it. So, yeah, that's about it for honorable mentions. Now, getting into the actual top ten. Starting us off is Tuxedo Freddy. From three, I believe? Yeah, I think it was from three. And he comes with Nancy's house here. And it used to light up. My battery died. But that's really cool. And then, my only problem with it, really, is this hand. Like, he's always doing that. So why is it doing that? Like, what, what even is that? I don't get it. And then also the skin tone is very light. As you can see in the light box, it's very, like, plasticky. Which, I mean, it is plastic, but, you know. And then it originally just looked like that, but I had to go in and add some Velcro to it to make it look better. And overall, it's a really nice figure. It's just, you know, it's not very articulated. It also has problems standing, and the paint could be better. But still. It's awesome. Then, coming in at number 9 is the Toys R Us Jungle Hunter. This is a very, very nice figure. Because, and the, the other one in the two pack was cool, but it had a bunch of paint and a bunch of stuff on it. And that was just a little bit much. So, but with this one, they didn't go too far. But they did just enough paint and just enough detail to bring it into the top tins. And I really like all those specs on it, which not a lot of Predator figures have. Even though they were in the movie, most companies skip out on that. Actually, most figures. But they just went that extra mile to do that too. Then he has the gun, which is fully articulated. And then he has the little panel here, which doesn't open up, but a lot of them do. And then he has the blades here. And very, very nice figure. Then we have the newest, not newest, but new, Laser Shark Predator. Here he is. And he is very, very nice. And the reason he's lower on the list is just because he is very, very clunky. And... Overall, just sort of a hassle to pose around, but he does have this light-up feature, which is also pretty sweet, and then he's got these things that turn and come up and can turn around and be like a jetpack, and he's got this big golden hand, and he's got this cool mask, but the thing is, if you put the mask on, it automatically turns the lights on, and I tried to unscrew it to get the lights off, but they put it in so tight, it's just breaking the screw. 
Then he has this hand, which they try to make articulated with all the little pins, but it doesn't really articulate all that well. And it's got this big thing to extend it out. Then it's got a shield. Who doesn't love shields? Oh, and a fist. Well, more the thumbs up. I never got the fi fists. Those are always very strange. But, yeah. He is number eight, I want to say. Say? Yeah, I think he's number eight. Number eight. So now, at uh, number seven, we have New Nightmare Freddy here. And he might have been higher up on the list originally. But the thing is, you see, this hand came off the pin. This hand right here. See the little pin there? It comes off all the time. And then when I was trying to get that one on, this one broke off. So, I mean, come on. And, yeah, so it has some QC issues, but overall, that head sculpt is just amazing. I don't even remember him using this in the movie, do you guys? I think he might have used it when he was screaming in the furnace, but I think that's about it. So, it's crazy that they went ahead and did that. Then he has this head, which looks like um, pineapple eyes. And he has all this really nice sculpt here. And you can just swap those out. And then this is removable. And you have all that really nice cloth work. And then um, this claw is actually splayed out, which is good. And then it's the bone claws, which I always found to be very strange. But, you know, it's good to have something different after six movies. But five and six were terrible. And then next on the list, we have... Value Stop Ash. I keep trying to call it s because that was just one of the old ones. I think it's, yeah, it's Value Stop Ash. This is also a great figure. I also like the Ultimate with the blue shirt, but I don't have that one. So, yeah. But he's got Woody here, which is great. And then he's got a trigger finger, even though he doesn't even come with any guns. But you can use the other one's shotguns. Then he has the Screaming Head, which is really nice. And he has the little doll. Which is also great. I would have liked to get just a standing there at all. And then maybe like an alternate hand where he's grabbing it with the eyes popping out from the show. When he was in his mind. I also would have liked an Eli. But, you know, whatever. Get what you get. So that is so good because that's fully painted and sculpted. Even the little tie there. Do you guys see that? Oh no, come on, focus. There you go. He has that little tie. She has so much detail. And then there's a way to stick this on here. I haven't been able to get it. It always just falls off. But, and then she's also sculpted with a little dent in her stomach. So it can just slide in. And Ash can be holding it. So this is very, very nice figure. But didn't quite make the top five. Which we are moving right into. So coming in at number five is... I just got this a couple days ago. You guys saw it in my haul. Oops. Anyway, you guys saw it in my haul. It's Ed. Let me just adjust the camera. There you go. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Okay. So, this figure is really nice because they did this. This wasn't even in the movie. We saw him get sawed up. I mean, axed up. And then we never saw it, but they did it anyway. And that's so good. And they gave him the tiny little brain, and then you can just stick it back together. There you go. And then he also has, if you don't want him all sliced up, this head, which can do that, which is also really nice. And then a great inclusion is the deer head. It's so nice. I just wish it would have had a moving mouth, and maybe like turn around eyes, so it could be a normal deer head. But I ain't complaining. If it did have the option, I'd still keep it like this, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but anyway, you can just hang that on the wall. I'm actually working on a project that'll be using this very soon, so stay tuned for that, so yeah, and then he's very articulated. He needed a neck stand, though, but I have some, so I'll just use my own, but would have been nice if he would have came with me. Then, coming in at number four, is the 8 inch cloth Michael Myers. Now this is a great figure. And I already have the ultimate of this. But it's 
in another building. So, yeah. Upstairs in another building. So, I can't wait to beat you. But, I got this one because I like the old classic Halloween franchise. But, I like the Rob Zombie movies way better. They're so much better. But, the figures for those don't... They, like, have one point of articulation, which is the head. And, that's almost it. So, he's a lot taller in those movies. He's huge. So, I got this one to act as that one. And I also made a custom head with the pumpkin mask from that movie. But that's a custom. And I said customs don't count. So, you know, okay. But he has the bloody hands. That head sculpt is so nice. Then that knife. The way they painted that. It looks very natural. The way it flows. It's very, very nice. And then, yeah. So, the reason, if you might be wondering, the reason there's no Jason Voorhees on this list is because if there were, the entire list would be Jason's. So, I'll probably do a video on Jason's, too. So, that's why there aren't any. Because it just take up 98%. Then we have, coming in ah, at number three, I'm pretty sure, the Terminator Judgment Day Terminator. And did you guys hear that we're supposed to be getting a Sarah and John Connor 2 pack at the end of the year. Some foreign shop put it up for pre order or something. So that's pretty cool. I have to get that. But anyway, here he is, and he is very, very nice because he doesn't have to be the Terminator. If you put the sunglasses on, he just looks like a detective for Friday the 13th, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and right around Elm Street, Halloween, anything. Or a guy at the lab of the Predator. It can be absolutely anything, which is also good. Because I use him a lot in Meep displays. And he also has his normal head. This head isn't that good. It doesn't really look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I would never use this. I don't need it. And then he has the Battle Damage head, which is also very, very nice. I would have liked an alternate arm that was just like a stump like the Genesis figure had. Because he got his arm torn off in that movie. By the T-1000. Which also didn't quite make the list. <coughs> but was up there. Then he has the little buckle strap. He has his gun here. He's got his grenade launcher. Which has a strap here. Which is also nice. And then he has his backpack. And I think this is a minigun. But I'm not sure. So, this is just a great figure in almost every aspect. You can use it for everything. It has a really nice sculpt, really nice paint. It has a bunch of accessories. And it's like as much as, like, 15 Imaginext. So, that's a really good deal. I have no idea how much Imaginext are. I don't know what I'm saying. But, it's very cheap. Because if Hasbro made this, it'd be around $70.00. I did it. And it ain't $70. Therefore, it is good. Then, in second place, the runner up is Lab Escape Predator. This figure is great. I don't know if he had this head or the calm head, but they look almost the same. And he's got this gun here, and he's very nice because all the other predators, you see, are like all clunky and stuff. But this one is very sleek and very, very nice. Then he has this head here with the light up eyes, which is great. He's got the battle damage mask, which is also great. Then he's got the little thing, so he can just kill people. And he's got a gun here, which is cool. This is one of the first times Predators have been holding human guns, which is really neat to see. So, this figure is very, very nice. I just this butt flap, this butt flap here is very annoying. But this is a very, very, very nice runner up to number one. And I'm pretty sure number one is pretty darn obvious because I think it's about everyone's number one because it's everyone's favorite franchise, which is the ultimate GameStop exclusive. I'm gonna say maybe. Anyways, so this figure is great, and that sculpt 
is so nice. And these hands are good, and they gave it a dirty wash, because, like, the warehouse one was so shiny, it made zero sense. But this one was all dirty, which is very, very nice. Then he's got this head, we can be all, eh. and he, that's the dead lights, I think they're called, yeah. Keep wanting to call them dead eyes, because I've been watching Ash, but they're dead lights. Anyway, and he's got the one with all the hands coming out that he used to grab the pole that, uh, I don't know his name. He was the old Spice guy in the new movie. His whole thing that he was hitting them with. Then he comes with these here. Then he also came with the lady in the portrait. I don't have that on me. But this is a great figure. And it definitely deserves its number one necker spot. So there you have it, folks. That is my top tier neckers that I own. And I, like I said earlier in the ad, I am working on a big project, a big meat display that you guys should be seeing very soon. And I will be doing other stuff, other top tens, other reviews, other random things up until then. And, f but for now, maybe today, I don't know, this is Meat Displays signing out.